Hi everybody, this is Sherry with UpOrDownTheirBeautiful.blogspot.com I wanted to show you um, one of the little Michaels boxes that I made today. I'm not, to me this is not a whole lot of space to work with. If it were a bigger box, you know, I would probably have added, you know, lace and things like that. But since it's such a small box, and most of you know, um, I've seen these before and know all the bigger they are. Let's see. I think it's three and a half inches wide. Just a little over three and a half inches. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five eighths. Three and five eighths is how big the box is wide. And um, so I went ahead and I mixed up some paints. It was the... Um, summer peach let's see if I can get that up there summer peach and some antique white I mixed those up and to soften the peach just a little I thought it was you know a little bright and so I wanted to soften it up a little and I used this paper it's from K and Company and it's called Life's Journeys it took me forever to find the name on this pack uh, Life's Journeys Designer Paper Pad. Um, so I used it for the top and it already had, um, let me get it up here, it had that collar already which I thought matched really well but I did ink over it or ink around the edges with um, some Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink Dried Marigold. And I used some of the Michaels Dollar Bling here. And um, this is a Stampin' Up! Antique, they call it Antique Brads. So this is one of them. And you guys know that the box comes with um, like a little ponytail elastic thing. And I had been wanting to try to find some elastic, elastic lace. And I couldn't find it when I go I don't have a the Michaels or Joann's that I can go to or Hobby Lobby is like an hour and a half away from where I live and with being in a wheelchair and having to transport that and not feeling well lately um, you know I haven't been able to get there and I wanted some and I think I can tighten this a little I think I'm gonna tighten it just a little but um I wanted some elastic trim and I thought man I hate this that I can't find this well somebody posted a video and I cannot remember who it was and it really wasn't about the trim it was showing um, something they made which I think it was actually a, a box one of these small boxes or something um, but she said that she took a piece of trim and she just ran elastic um, elastic thread and did a running stitch around the center and I was like now why did I never think of that I honestly wonder where my head is sometimes but but this Annie or excuse me Anna had sent this to me and this was one of her scraps and she didn't want to throw it away but she does um, layouts and it was too small for her layout but I do cards so this little scrap was, per, actually it's enough to do like two more of these boxes. So it's just, it was the perfect little scrap for me. And so this is the, the Michaels bling. And Anna gave me these flowers in a rack. And I did a video on that um, a couple weeks ago. And if you look, you'll see these little, I don't know what kind of flowers they are. I'm not very good with flowers. But she gave me these, and I put them in a special container, but I wanted to make something special today, and so I pulled them out and used a couple of them. And these are my homemade roses that I've been making, and I just painted, this one's um, a little different. Again, I used the um, Summer Peach, and I took and added a little pink melon, and then a little antique white to um, make it so that it wasn't quite so bright and then these these two here are made with the summer peach the antique white and 
oh bright pink I used a bright pink and just a little dab of that and then I whoops sorry guys I bumped my camera and then I dry brushed the tops with the antique white and um, that's what I came up with and I really like the way it looks and uh, let's see here's a a little penny so you can kind of see how big the the roses are that I made and the one over here is, is real small it's just a smidge bigger than the penny but that's what I made and this is my Michaels box and and I just wanted to share it with you all I was just in the mood to make something special today and so I pulled out the stuff from Anna and and my bling and my roses and and I had a lot of fun so I just wanted to show you what I had done oh I painted the whole inside the same color and um, and then just put the paper on the top part and inked all the way around it with the uh, Tim Holtz distress ink that I showed you so there's my box Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.